Hi, my name is Muhammad Amirul Bey Muhammad Yusuf. My metric number DE170129. This is my metric card. Hi, my name is Muhammad Ikmal Bey Muhammad Tay. My metric card number is DE170115. This is my metric card number. Hello, Assalamualaikum. My name is Fatin Akilah Binti Johannes and my metric number CE160173. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. To my lecturer in Intersection 7, Dr. Shari Rizal Muhammad Shah, I will be listening my stamp and Nur Usna bin Abdul Rahman with metric card number AE170146. I'm from group 7. I'm with my other teammates. Uh, are going doing are doing group project group project for EMT. So we uh the children gave applicants that we our group choose to do for this time is cat phone cat phone. So yeah, then the working principle are based on the chapter one that we learn in the lecture, which is electrostatic. Now I'm going to start my part, which is to introduce what is electrostatic. If you see the picture, this is the common picture to showing the electrostatic. What, uh, how it happens and how it does. Here in lecture not chapter one, slide number three. You see here, electrostatic field, which are produced by stationary electric charge Q. Electric charge Q, as we can see from the from the image in the Google, there are two electric charge, which is positive and negative electric charge. There are two types. Here, positive and negative, and the positive. Uh, the arrow is going out and the negative, the arrow is going in the charge. Out on the charge and in the charge. What is electrostatics? Electrostatics is a branch of physics that deals with the phenomena and properties of stationary or slow moving electric charges. Then, let us know about frictional electricity. The substances which acquire charges on rubbing are said to be electrified or charged. These terms are derived from the Greek word electron meaning amber. The electricity produced by friction is called friction electricity. If the charges in a body do not move, then the frictional electricity is also known as static electricity. Next we will deal with two kinds of charges. They are positive and the negative charges. First of all, if a glass rod is rubbed with the silk cloth, it acquires positive charge, while the silk cloth acquires an equal amount of negative charge. Secondly, an ebonite rod is rubbed with fur. It becomes negatively charged, while the fur acquires equal amount of positive charge. This classification of positive and negative charges were termed by American scientist Benjamin Franklin. Hi, my name is Muhammad Amirul Bey Muhammad Yusuf. My metric number DE170129. This is my metric card. Okay, now I will explain about the working principle for the electrostatic headphone. Okay, for the electrostatic headphone, the electrostatic drivers consist of a thin electrically charged diaphragm. Is placed here. It's suspended between two perforated metal plates. 
that's called electrons. Okay, before that, I want to tell you that this diagram is especially is for the electrostatic speaker, but the concept is same as the electrostatic headphone. Okay. Okay, I proceed. The electrical sound signal is applied to the electrodes and creating an electrical field. It's depending on the polarity of this field. The diaphragm is drawn toward one of the plates. Air is forced through the perforation, combined with a continually changing electrical signal driving the membrane, and it generates the sound wave. A special amplifier is required to amplify the signal to the flat membrane. It because the electrostatic headphone is need 100 to 1000 volt as their electrical potential. Since the invention of insulators, there is no actual danger. They do not need to deliver significant electric current, which further limits electrical hazard to the wearer in the case of the form. Okay, due to the extremely thin and the light diaphragm membrane, often only a few micrometers thick, and the complete absence of moving metal work, the frequency response of the electrostatic headphone usually extends well above the audible limits of approximately 20 kHz. And because the high frequency response, it means that the low mid band distortion level is maintained to the top of the audible frequency band, which is generally not the case with moving call drivers. Also, the frequency response thickness regularly seen in the high frequency region with moving coil drivers is absent. So, I can conclude that the well designed electrostatic headphone can produce a significantly better sound quality than other stuff. That's all for me. Thank you. So, we proceed to the next explanation. Hi, my name is Muhammad Ismail bin Muhammad Taib. My metric card number is DE170115. This is my metric card number. I will explain about application of electrostatic on headphone. 
Plato started had found operate on a completely different and more advanced principle than conventional dynamic or moving coil headphone. Let's talk about a part that makes the electrostatic design on the headphone. Electrostatic headphone use extremely thin diaphragm. Electrostatic system allow us to place a force on the thin film without touching it. A thin diaphragm stick together with a clear spark to prevent the movement of the film diaphragm to the metal stator that will cause the damage to the film. The diaphragm get the charge from the power supply that will convert to the positive charge to the thin diaphragm. The stator are receive their charge from the audio signal which is amplifier. The audio signal from the amplifier will throw to the step up transformer that will burst the voltage uh, to the stator. Positive charge on the film will pull to the back stator which is negative charge. And for fun stator which is positive charge will push the film to the back center which is negative charge with the music millisecond by millisecond force into the speaker will flip back and forward positive negative positive negative push pull push pull will speed up to the real time then moving for the thousand cycle this is the mimic of the air pressure that was formed from the original music signal with the constant moving of the film using the electrostatic we reduce the lacking or distortion which means it perfectly follow the tracing of the original audio signal this is the beautiful for using headphone that using electrostatic system Electrostatic drivers do not use magnets at all. No magnets, no voice coils, no conductive traces. What you'll find in general with an electrostatic driver is a very thin membrane with a constant electrical charge drawn drum tight between two metal plates called stators. High voltage is applied from the music signal through a specialized amplifier to these stators. At any given moment when driven, the charge of one stator is the opposite charge from the other but equal in strength, and the membrane, the electrically charged diaphragm in between, vibrates and makes the sound in response to that. Hello, Assalamualaikum. My name is Fatin Akhila Binti Jonas. My metric number CE160173. Today, I would like to present the conclusion of electrostatic headphones. Electrostatic headphones are frequently considered the most transparent, natural, detailed sounding listening device possible. This is due to their extremely quick transient response of their attractive driver elements which is unlike traditional headphone, speaker driver, lab heavy wire calls and magnets. Instead, the electrostatic driver is charged with a high DC via voltage and moves in response to a high voltage electric field created by opposing status on either side. The small acoustic space of a headphone or earphone enables the electrostatic driver to cover the full audible spectrum without crossovers, making for an incredibly transparent and low distortion sound. Bass can be tricky for electrostatic headphones, however, it has improved greatly in recent years. All electrostatic headphones require a dedicated high voltage amplifier to produce their sound. Hence, they do not come with a standard ear headphone plug on their covers. That's all from our group. Thank you for watching our video presentation. Bye!